Hello everybody, I'm Allie, this is Miro and Emery and Banjo and we are going on a trail ride today. Okay, we have to ground mount. You made sure everything was tight, correct? Because it's a... Uh... <laughs> okay, this is Emery's first trail ride ever with Banjo. Okay, now make sure... <laughs> He's 16 hand side, that's a long way up. But main and rain. Now remember, put your knee in and give yourself a boost up. So count to three, one, two, three, and up. And nice, nice job. That's a long way up there, isn't it? It's a long way down too. <laughs> All right, went by the excavator. Now you've got the uh, scary stuff. Doing just fine though, no problem. We've got a nice open spot up here where it's at least a couple of acres and um, it's nice and grassy. So it's a really good place to walk around. Keep them going. <laughs> yeah, this is that big open spot. It's kind of fun. It's pretty flat for the most part, but just watch out. You always want to watch your ground and you want to walk around first and make sure you don't have any ant hills or weird, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, so kind of scope it out first before you want to go. Yeah, I know. That's, that. Okay, we always practice a one rain stop. Sit center until he stops. Oh, oh, that one rain stop didn't stop yet. Whoa. Reach up, grab the other rain. There you go. Stop for a second, just stop. Now make him back up. That's why we teach the one rain stop, folks. That'll get you out of any trouble. Now, there you go. Spiral down to a one rain stop, make him stop. Say, whoa, don't let him pull out of it. There you go, don't let him pull out of it. Ooh, now be careful, you're not, you're kind of tapping him with that. Okay, it's really important when you get out on the trail that you be able to do a one rein stop and that you have control of your horse. So you always want to reach up and turn him to the inside. All right, ready and reach up and one rein stop. Whoa! And as you can see, he is not wanting to stop. So this is why we do this exercise. Whoa! Sit back. Sit back, say whoa! Whoa! Wow, he is spinning like crazy. Okay, good, release, release immediately. Now pet him. There you go, now, good. Walk forward. There you go, that was a good example of a one rein stop. Excellent job. Now, being able to walk in a small circle, so walk off, add outside leg and small circle is another exercise that you wanna do, especially if you're on your trail. It's a good exercise for co control and respect. You remember, you want to add your outside leg. Now reach up there and one rein stop from where you're at. Ready? And whoa! Obviously, he's still wanting to see. This is why we're going to do this exercise. Whoa. And wait a second. He didn't fully stop. Now he did release. Good. The whole idea is he stops when we tell him to. Okay, now it's time to move on to the new phase of our trail ride, which is going to... <laughs> He's seriously freaked out over the porta potties that's funny. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to the lake. So here we go, we have a little opening. You gotta watch you don't get knocked into branches. So, and you got lovely stuff to spook at, yay! Oh, we even have a Mylar balloon. Whoa! <laughs> I told you stuff to spook at. Okay, let's do our best to walk through. Oh, good boy, you ignored the balloon. Don't hit the branches. All right, successful navigation. Now on to the good part. I always like to let them have a little drink. They've been working pretty hard. A little lake water isn't gonna kill them. Okay, believe it or not, it's December in Texas, and it's 80 degrees. So, walking in the water, it's not cold at all. But it must feel really good 
to walk in the water, nice and cool and relaxing. Sit up straight. There you go. Well, I'm waiting until he picks his head up and then I'm going to start. Let him get a good drink though. I don't mind. All right. Let's walk him forward. Ah! Spanish walk. No Spanish walk in the water. Okay. That's a regrettable trick I taught my horse. All right. Walk. So there's this spot where the grass is just like really, really yummy and I just totally don't mind them stopping and taking a little munchie. This is their reward. They already had to come all the way down the road. So we're just taking a relaxing break and because both of them are bitless, they can graze and it doesn't bother anything. They're not going to get anything caught or anything like that. So it's kind of a nice thing. Well, thank you so much for joining us on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more.